Hey guys, guess what I'm doing? I'm having Sonic for lunch and a big Route 44 Diet Peach Tea. And um, today is Monday. It's a nice October Monday. Um, I thought I would go to Sonic and I'm going, and I hope these taste good. Somebody, one of my friends wanted me to try the broccoli cheese tot. And, uh, I ordered some and they were like, well, let me see if we still got any left. And, um, so, I don't know, guys. These better be good because, look at this. Look at that. So, these better taste good because I'm going to be ticked off. I've been wanting to get over here and get some Sonic Tots and try them. I, I came over here the, <coughs> the other day and there's nobody in Sonic, like at Sonic. Like there's like one car in the drive-thru and one car waiting, you know, in the parking lot in the stall. So I press the red button and I'm just sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. For like five minutes they didn't even so i was like well forget that and i went through the drive through i don't know man it's you know it's wait 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 everywhere now or i go to order something and oh we don't, we're out we don't have it so we'll see let me check taste this i need just a little just a tiny smidge of Splenda and um what I was fixing to say oh yeah yeah I had to give me a Route 44 drink because just a large ain't gonna cut it so hope I hope my food tastes good you know it's a hit or miss with Sonic you know let me put a little bit of Splenda here and, um, so yeah, I'm sitting in the mall parking lot. Oh, and I'm wearing my new shirt, Lady Gaga. I had to get this at Target because I don't have any Lady Gaga shirts. So, I wanted to get this shirt. It was in the women's department. But, yeah, um, tomorrow is Tuesday. And I have seen all the movies so, I'm going to be talking about some movies in a minute. I'm just getting my drink situated here. Um, but the, um, they don't have $5 on Tuesdays. It's, they raised it to $6. And the popcorn and drinks, they're not $2. They're $3 now. And it irritates me. It's so annoying when these places raise the prices. Alright guys, I gotta get situated. Um, I, I'm gonna be really ticked off if these tots don't taste, taste good. And they gave me a ranch for it, so I'm gonna get the ranch open. It's a ranch. Oh, I hope they taste good, guys. I really do. Because they don't look fresh at all. They look like the bottom of the... I'm going to be... I'm going to be ticked off. So, let me... And, of course, they don't give me enough mayonnaise on my chicken sandwich. They didn't give me a... Uh, so, I ordered a chicken slinger. The little chicken slinger sandwich. Oh, we were out of that. I said, well, can I just have a... I don't want a big old sandwich. Do you have like just a like little cheap dollar tender sandwich? So they had this little chicken tender sandwich. Like whatever. Just give me a chicken sandwich, man. Jeez. Okay. I'm going to stick that right there. I'm trying to get situated. I don't want to make a mess in my car. All right, guys. I'm fixing to try this. They look a little dry. Let me see. Mm. I 
okay. They look a little dry, but they actually taste, dip it in this ranch. Okay, okay. It tastes good, I was a little worried. Yeah, okay, so all it is is a tot with cheese and broccoli. I don't know, can y'all see that? Okay. It tastes like a um, rice casserole, you know. This is okay. All right. And then I'm going to have my chicken dinner sandwich here. I did get a corn dog because I didn't know if this was going to be enough food. But, um, I forgot to tell you guys, um, mm, I went and saw Dear Evan Hansen. That was a good movie. I, I don't know why it didn't get good reviews, because I thought it was good. The music was good. I loved it. Um, that actor Ben Platt. He was in it. He was Dear Evan Hansen. And it's really good. It's a really good movie. You guys go see Dear Evan Hansen. I'm serious. It was really good. I'm trying not to get my Lady Gaga shirt messed up. Um, I got the soundtrack to the movie. I haven't listened to it yet. I'm I'm gonna be doing a CD video of all the CDs that I bought here lately. I tell you what, this time of year. It's really hard for me not to um, go buy anything because it's fall and they're getting all the Christmas PJs out and all the Christmassy clothes out and the sweatshirts and all kinds of cool stuff. And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Especially like Target and Old Navy. So, the week before last, Eric and I went and saw that movie with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck and um, the guy that played, um, the guy that played in Star Wars, um, he played Kylo Ren, um, Adam Driver. He was in it. And um, I didn't know what in the heck that movie was going to be about. I didn't know. I had no idea. It was, I mean, I thought, okay, Matt Damon and Ben F. Like, heck yeah, it should be good. Well, I was bored out of my mind. That movie, I started falling asleep. I was getting bored watching it. It was so boring, but it just wasn't my kind of movie. I mean, and then I didn't like Matt Damon's hair in the movie. Matt Damon didn't even look look cute in the movie. He had like a mullet, and um, he just he didn't look good in the movie. But um. I saw a preview for a movie coming out and it's got Mark Wahlberg in it. It's about a treasure map or something. And the guy that plays Spider-Man, the newer Spider-Man, Tom Holland, 
is in it. But when I saw Mark Mark Wahlberg, I was like, forget, heck yeah, heck yeah, I'm going to see that when it comes out. I don't even remember the name of it. I love Mark Wal, oh, man, Mark Wahlberg. He is so good looking. I think these tater tots would taste better if they were like like really fresh. I mean, these are good. But and they're not hard. They're they're pretty soft. So, I would I would get them. I was a little worried there. So, I got me a drink here. This big old hmm. I hope you guys went and watched my um my first Dollar Tree haul. I've been wanting to try doing that. Um, y'all need to go check out my friend Cindy's page, uh, her YouTube page. Um, she does hauls also, but she also does crafts. So you might want to go over there and check it out. I'm not a crafty person, but if you like crafts, go go check her out. Her name's Cindy Lewis. So just go type it in. Um. Mm. So you want to go see Dear Evan Hansen. Last Duel. I didn't care for Last Duel. But you guys might like it. I did a preview. Um. I tried Amazon Prime again. Any like. I've tried it. Um the free trial of it a few times like I'll sign up for it to try it and then I will wait a, a while and then I can I can try it again for free and and you know what all I ever did with the Amazon Prime trial I was just focused on ordering stuff and getting free shipping I never thought about the fact that I could watch movies on it too and try books so, um, mm. I tried some book, uh, not books, but, because I didn't think I'd have enough time to read on books, but I watched some movies. I watched like four movies. Um, mm. that I couldn't get on, on Netflix and I've been wanting to watch them for a while. They're only available on, available on Amazon Prime. Because they didn't come out at the theater. So, I, what did I watch? I watched Coming to America 2. Because it's only available on Prime, Amazon Prime. And, I knew it was going to be stupid. Like, I knew it was going to be stupid. And it was it, it was so stupid because the plot of it was kind of, kind of like the first one, you know. So, and then they added all the characters from the original um, were in the movie, too. With one or two new characters. So it was kind of like the first one and it was they had they brought all the original people back. It was just it was just weak. It was just weak. Um It was more nostalgia. All the characters were in it. And it was just no it, the the story wasn't really original cuz it was kind of like the first one. Um, and I also watched on Prime. Oh, and I didn't even know the Prime, it was on TV, so I didn't have to, like, do anything. I had the app on my tablet, so I watched some stuff on my tablet, and then I was also able to watch it on my TV. But, um... So... Another movie I wanted, I've been wanting to watch was um, 
that Chris Pratt movie. Golly, what is it called? It's on Prime. It's a Chris Pratt movie. And it's about... Oh, gosh. What is it called? My brain just went blank. And it's like a future movie. Like, he has to go fight in some, like, war on another planet or some, some crap. Some future crap. What is that called? It's on Amazon Prime. It's, it's Chris Pratt. Look it up. It's... Dang it. I forgot what it's called. It was pretty good. If you like that kind of thing. Um, another movie that I had been wanting to see. It has Dave Bautista. Sorry if I keep looking off to the side. I'm eating my tots. Um, it was Dave Bautista. And this movie was supposed to be in the movie theaters and before the pandemic stuff hit because Eric and I we were like oh we gotta go see that well the pandemic hit so that movie never came to the theater and I looked and looked on Prime I mean um Netflix and it's only available on Amazon Prime so, I, you know, it didn't even dawn on me when I was doing the Amazon Prime. I was just ordering stuff for free shipping. It didn't even dawn on me that I could um, watch movies until, like, I only had, like, a week left of the trial. And I'm like, oh, dang, I could have watched some movies. I could have been watching movies. So, anyway, the movie's called My Spy. It's got Dave Bautista. And, um, it's not, it's like an hour and, I forgot, 30 minute movie. It's really cute, you guys. You need to go watch it. It's called My Spy. And it's about, he's a spy. And then this little girl wants to be a spy, too. Very clean movie. Very clean. Kids can watch it. And then I watched... So I watched that. On Amazon. Oh, and... There was a Justin Bieber... Uh, like, concert that just came out on Amazon Prime. Heck yeah, I watched it. So... And then I watched a movie called um, Britney Runs a Marathon. It was it was lame. Don't get it. Mm. So I would definitely go see My Spy. It's on Prime, you guys, and go watch Dear Evan Hansen. So we went and saw Dune last week. Um, I don't know how I feel about that movie. Um, I didn't see the 80s one. Um, I don't really recall. I remember in the original Dune, there was a big worm in it. But this dune, um, we, we thank God we were in the rec rec reclining seats. I'm trying to see if my thing's still recording. Yeah, it is. Um, we were in the reclining chairs because I was getting bored. It, it, you know, it, it's t it's kind of slow because it's trying to, you know, get the story set up because there's going to be a part two of the movie because there's so much story to tell so there's going to be a part two but Eric liked it but yeah so I saw Dune 
And then I went and saw Halloween Kills without him at the um, LX the week before. Because it was on a, it was Saturday and like it was almost time for the movie at one o'clock and I was like, well, I went, well, heck yeah, I might as well go. And I liked it. Halloween Kills picks up. So there's Halloween 1 and 2. And the last movie, the movie before Halloween Kills from I think that's just called Halloween. It was from it was from 2018, I think that one was. 2018, 2019. Anyway, so it's it, so you want to watch it in this order. You want to watch it in the two, the first two originals, the one from 1978, and then the Halloween two from 19, I think 80 or 81. So you want to watch one and two, and then you want to watch Halloween. I think it's just Halloween from 2018 or 2019. That's the order. Forget all the crappy ones in the middle. Because those won't matter. You don't want to watch Halloween H2O and all them. And Halloween 4 and all that. And then, so, so you watch those three. And then you go watch Halloween Kills in that order. And then there's going to be another. They already made the other one after Halloween Kills. So that's the order you want to watch them in. I thought it was pretty good. Okay. I'm going to eat my corn dog. I'm trying not to get a, make a mess in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up I'm just gonna dip my um my corn dog in this ranch. I love corn dogs and hot dogs. I tried to order a um on the on the online it said they had a hot dog, a new hot dog, a pretzel dog with like cheese and bacon on it. But when I asked the girl, she didn't know what I was talking about. So that, that was disappointing. Okay, here's my corn dog. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They're corn dogs. Like I said, you gotta catch them on a good day. Um. Mmm, mmm. Um. I recorded a movie the other day. It's an older movie. It's called Gran Torino with Clint Eastwood. That I, was, I thought it was gonna be like really bloody and like killing and whatnot, cause it was about gangs. But it actually wasn't. It was actually a good movie. Now we I watched it off of the TV like. So it was edited when I watched it. So there was no cussing in it. So. It was pretty good. It's called Gran Torino. Mm. Because we went and saw that Clint Eastwood movie. At the theater. Not too long ago. Called Cry Macho. And I thought it was... <laughs> Clint Eastwood, I thought it's gonna have killing and what whatnot. I wanted some violence in it. I wanted some blood, you know? Nope, it wasn't that at all. It was a cute little story and everything, but that's not what I wanted to go see. I wanted to go see some killing and some blood and some stabbing and some shooting. For Clint Eastwood, 
I'm like, when did Clint Eastwood start making all these little sweet movies? Like, why? It's Clint Eastwood. Like, I don't watch a lot of Clint Eastwood, but, I mean, I thought he made, like, westerns and, like, guns and shooting kind of movies and killing. What's this cutesy little love story mess? Um, I had a bunch of movies recorded on our DVR. Um, there's a Barbara Streisand, uh, Ryan O'Neill movie. Um, I've, <coughs> I think it was made in 1971. It was called... And I've seen it before, but I couldn't really remember it. Because I saw it when I was a kid. It's called... What's Up, Doc? And so Eric and I watched it. Eric actually liked it. <coughs> I'm like, Eric, you need to watch this movie. It's really good. It's called What's Up, Doc? And it's about... Like this, these people have the same bag, uh, plaid bag, and they're staying at the ho this hotel. And these bags have different things in them, and the bags got get all mixed up. And it's about this, you know, these bags getting all mixed up. And it's a cute little story. And um, Barbara Streisand's in it. I have a couple of her CDs. Let me turn the uh, windows down. I'm getting hot. Woo! Get a little toasty in here, guys. But I, I do have a little bit of Barbara Streisand CDs. I have. Uh, let me get it. Okay. I have two Barbara Streisand CDs. Uh, one, and they're current. They're current. Like one. It's like a duets CD with like Seth MacFarlane and and the other CD I cannot remember the other one one of them's called Encore and one is called Duets I think so yeah so I got those I like some of her songs you'd be surprised what I have in my CD collection I've got a wide variety. So, I went, we, um, for Netflix, not Netflix, Redbox. I had, for Redbox, a free movie email. Said, get a free movie. So, I went over to Publix, Redbox, well, I have the app on my phone, so I can reserve a movie, and then I just go... Publix or Kroger and go in and get it. Go get it. Um, so I got a movie. It's called Voyagers. I got a movie. That was a crazy movie, you guys. Called Voyagers. And it's about these people go to a planet Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell takes some... It's about... It's it's about reproduction. It's a, a reproduction movie. Science movie. He takes these... Um, these babies are like... Born in a... Lab on a ship. And um... And they're on this ship. These, ba these kids are born... You know... On a ship... Colin Farrell's the one in charge of them. And so these kids grow up on the ship. They don't have parents and they didn't grow up on Earth. They were born in a lab on a spaceship and then things go crazy from there. 
it, you know what it reminds me of and um i don't know if you guys have seen it but lord of the flies the lord of the flies is kind of like that so go watch it um it's where the, they you know they go crazy like they it's like lord of the flies they take a they take over and they start siding with each other and um so that's called voyagers with colin farrell um oh and then i went and saw that uh on a five dollar day the last five dollar movie i got to see um the tammy faye baker movie because i just wanted to go see it um i don't know how i feel about that movie it was i don't know i just wanted to go see it was more it was it didn't really focus on too much of um jim baker scandal too much like it really focused on her so if you want to go see that i mean i thought it i mean it wasn't making i didn't it wasn't making fun of them um but it was more of tammy faye baker's story so if you want to go see that I mean, it wasn't, I didn't love it or hate it. I mean, it was, you know, that's what it was. Um, but I really, really, really love, out of everything I have seen, I really like My Spy on Amazon Prime. And I really like Dear, Dear Evan Hansen at the movie theater. And I really like the Jesus music movie. It's not even at the theater now. It's gone. I'm looking at the list of movies. And I have seen everything. Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise is still at the theater. I cannot even believe that movie is still playing at the theater, you guys. That was a good movie. Jungle Cruise. But... There was one, and I'm not going to even say it. Y'all just have to go see the movie. There was one thing in the movie that I felt like was unnecessary. Just a little. Adults will catch it. Kids probably won't, get, won't. But I caught it, and I didn't appreciate it. And I'm just like, why, Disney? Why? Why? And that's all I'm going to say. So... Man, I'm enjoying these tots. I'm pleasantly surprised about these tots, you guys. Well, guess what? Eric, Eric had to go get the vaccine. I, I just, I don't think that's fair at all. Because he's still working at home. So I don't see, I don't see the point in him having to go get that crap. He's still working at home. Uh, I mean, I guess he's doing all right. His his arm hasn't fallen off. He's, I mean, he's been acting fine. So, thank God in heaven, I don't have to do that. I don't want to get poked and jabbed and pricked and whatnot. But this this ain't even big enough of a drink. And this is a Route 44. So I got some videos coming up, you guys. Um Eric's gonna be getting me a new digital camera. I need to break down and get me one. But I'll talk about that later. So, I think I covered all of my, um, all of my movies that I wanted to talk about today. And 
I think you guys need to go get some of these broccoli cheese tots. I just wanted to sit in here and talk about movies and try these tots today and show y'all my Lady Gaga shirt because it's legit. And, um, so yeah. I think I'm gonna get off of here. I don't know what they're doing over here at the mall parking lot. They got it. They got construction going on and it's got a, a fence around it. Hopefully they're doing something cool over there. We don't need expansion on the parking lot. That's what Eric thought. Oh, maybe they're adding on to the parking lot no we don't really need to add on to the parking lot the parking lot is big enough and it's not even full maybe it's a restaurant I don't know so I'm gonna get off of here I'm done eating um, so go check out my um, other videos Go check out my Michael W. Smith ones. Go check out my Dollar Tree haul. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna finish up my peach tea. And, um, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed my, uh, video. And I'm gonna get off of here. I need to go fix my lipstick. So I'm going to sign off and y'all have a nice Monday.